welcome back to the channel everybody so today I'm out on the Meteor 350 supernova it's a beautifully crisp autumn slash winter day the sun shining the leaves are orange and yellow falling from the trees it's cold it's crisp it's really really stunning the air is nice and clear it couldn't be a nicer time to be out in the winter riding bikes and so the subject of today's video is going to be five things I absolutely love about the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 motorcycle. Um, it could be a lot longer actually, there's a big long list of things I love about this bike, but I'll try and keep it to five, try and keep it as brief as possible. So, number one on the things that I love about this motorcycle has to be the looks. So you've got the touring screen, which I think gives a classic retro look to the bike. As far as practicality goes, the screen does actually blow a little bit of air into the visor, or deflects air into the visor, which is a little bit annoying. But as far as it looks, it adds to the whole retro feel. You've got a teardrop gas tank, chrome everywhere, chrome exhaust, the machine fins on the single cylinder, the whole bike, honestly, I couldn't really change the looks of it. You've got the brown of the Supernova. Fireballs have a slightly different um, feeling to them, in more youthful, maybe a little bit more urban, slightly sportier. There's a Royal Enfield Meteor for anyone. Um, and also they've got extras you can customise them with to make them look a bit different. Royal Enfield Genuine Motorcycle Accessories, or GMA, has really made an effort at this time round to give you a range of different exhausts, a range of different foot pegs, seats, you can screens even as a fly screen instead of a touring screen. You can customise the bikes quite a lot, which is really nice. So number one on the list is undoubtedly looks. Number two on the list of things I love about this Meteor 350 has to be the overall accessibility and economy of the bike. So let's talk about purchase price. Um, at the time I bought these bikes, or this bike, the price was 3,900 of our Queen's English pounds. Convert that into dollars, it's probably about $5,500, something like that. Quite inexpensive for a brand new bike. Add to that, you can cruise around on a tank of fuel for miles and miles, it's not going to use up much of our precious go-go juice. Royal Enfield certainly don't have to worry about restricting uh, engine emissions or putting cats in or things like that. You know, these are not highly tuned, high performance engines, they're, they're small, low capacity, um, quite elegant yet simple engines that are going to be healthy and good to the environment and give us motorcyclists a lot of miles for our gallon. So overall economy, yeah, purchase price is low um, for a brand new bike. You've got your road fund license included in that. Uh, that's your year's tax, road tax as we used to call it. Um, all you have to do is insure the bike and off you go. Okay, so moving on, number three of things that I love about this Royal Enfield Meteor 350 has to be the riding position. It's supremely comfortable. I mean, my, my arms have a slight bend at the elbow. Um, they're not too stretched. I'm not on big eight hangers or hunched over uh, with a lot of weight on my wrists. So, so comfortable. I'm sat in a nice, comfortable seat, which, by the way, you can upgrade to a touring seat which I assume maybe is even more comfortable. Uh, I might look into that at some stage in the future, maybe in the new year. Treat this bike to a touring seat. But seating position, yeah, it's really comfortable. You feel like you could ride for hours and hours. My knees are at 90 degree angle, so really, really comfortable on the knees. Just cruise around this bend. Oh, that is so enjoyable. And I feel like I don't get the bad back, I don't get the weight on the wrists, I just, I'm just really, really enjoying the comfort of this bike. As far as uh, the pillion is concerned, it's really comfortable for her as well, so Susie's been on the back and she loves the fact that you've got the backrest, you can take in all of the environment around you, just 
look around, enjoy being on the back of the bike, getting the sensations, the smells uh, of motorcycling. So this bike has a, a back rest, so Pillion has got no concern at all about hanging on or uh, gripping tightly. It's, it's really nice bike for rider and Pillion where comfort's concerned. Okay, so um, number four on things I love about the Meteor Pro 50 has to be the instrument cluster. So it's got a really retro look to it. They're both round dials. Uh, you've got two dials up front, both are round. You have an analog speedo, which uh, surrounds the outside of the dial. And then you've got on the inside, a, a digital insert, a little LCD insert, that gives you the fuel, it's got a gear indicator, it's got an economy uh, sign as well, it tells you when you're riding most economically, which is nice. It's got an odometer and two trip meters. You can cycle through the trip meters just by pressing this info button. Um, you know, it's, it's almost not worth having a button on the handlebars for that. But nevertheless, there's a little info button there. Also, you can use that to reset the um, trip meters if you hold it down. So I suppose it is convenient to have it with all of the other controls. Go back to the engine cluster surrounded with a chrome ring which looks really nice and it, it just everything about it it just feels premium it looks nice it's got a retro yet modern look they've just done it really well it doesn't feel cheap nasty it doesn't look like it's going to break it just just works they've tied in the trip and navigation system which is quite a modern little gizmo to add on to the uh, the, the side here on the right hand side they tied that in with the same theme so it looks great really really bright and easy to see as well uh, in darker conditions you know you can be able to see very easily okay talking of seeing that brings me on to the fourth thing I love about the Meteor 350 and that is an overall visibility so obviously on a bike you've got perfect visibility looking around that in front of you uh, you don't have B pillars or anything like you do in a car. But when you look behind you, you also have great visibility. So the mirrors are really big, round. They don't vibrate too much with uh, a single cylinder engine. You could get some vibration, but because they put this balancer shaft in, it kind of stops that vibe coming up through the bars and into the mirrors. So you can see really clearly behind you, which I really, really like. You know, if I look in either mirror, I've got a view of the whole road really really good other element to visibility is the main headlights so it's not dark yet but I went out in the dark the other day I could see everything I, I put the even the dipped beam illuminated the whole road so gone are the days of sort of peering into inky blackness trying to work out where the white line is and not not, sort of not crash <laughs> the, the, the lights are fantastic on this bike really really gives you that fe uh, feeling of safety that you know you could ride this bike for quite a long way in the dark and you get uh, a good view of the road ahead wouldn't get any nasty surprises so that's number four on the things I love about the Meteor 350 and its visibility moving on to the fifth and final thing that I love about the Meteor 350 and that is undoubtedly this little charming charismatic 349 cc single cylinder engine brand new for 2021 brand new for this bike it is an absolute little cracker so what i'll do first is rather than say any more i'm going to duck down behind this touring screen and let you just listen to this this, this engine listen to that see So it's so charismatic and charming and it just hums along in the, in the background and somebody actually wrote in one of the comments to my other video, don't put music on in the background, just let us hear the sound of the uh, Meteor's engine and I thought that's such a good point, listen to it. So as well as the soundtrack, it also looks pretty special, so you've got it's a single, obviously, that Royal Enfield describe it as air-cooled and water-cooled. No, air-cooled and oil-cooled. And it's got these machined fins, so it's got the very retro look, obviously, to let air flow past, increase the surface area and cool the lump uh, as you're riding along. 
it, it just looks perfect. It sounds great. They've added this balancer shaft so you don't get the vibration that's normally associated through, uh, with a single. So look at this now. Look how clear the mirrors are. I can see everything. It's really, really fantastic. Um, add to that the engine's very economical. You know, you could go for 300 miles on a single tank of fuel. And it's not actually that slow. Um, I can pull in any gear. Okay, I'm not going to take off like an S1000 double R. But if I'm in fifth, no, I'm in fourth. Let's put it in fifth. So you'd expect to have the lowest uh, lowest acceleration. And I'll, I'll go to I'll go up to from 50 to 55. Just pulling, pulling. It will pull you along. It's quite satisfying. It's not so much going to rip your arms off as it's just going to give you a feeling of joy as you're riding along. It's charming, it's charismatic. It's just a, it's just a lovely little lump. And that is it's probably one of the best things actually, truth be told, about this bike is the, is the lump. It's super, so rewarding, so charming, uh, character-filled little thing. Okay guys, so that was my top five things I love about the Meteor 350. No doubt there could be many, many more, um, but for now we'll stop there. And if you did enjoy this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Click the notification icon, you'll get more um, updates as, as we launch new videos. There'll be loads more Royal Enfield content coming up, because I love this little bike. And if you did like the video today, please do drop us a like. That would really help with the YouTube algorithm, the fickle beast that it is. And if you've got any thoughts on what we talked about, then drop a comment. Maybe you're a meteor owner, maybe there's something I've missed. Uh, maybe you agree with me, maybe you disagree with me. But I'd love, it, love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Right, as I just sweep round this bend, enjoying the afternoon sun as it comes back out, I'll bid you farewell and safe riding, everyone. Catch you in the next one.